oh my goodness, it's finally here. That's right. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade mini pinball machine. It is here. It is right here in my hands. And we're going to open it up and break it down. So tune in. Welcome back, everyone, to another little review of gadgets and gizmos here on my channel. Now, I mostly do a lot of live coding, as you probably know if you subscribe at all to this channel, but I also like to do some fun tech reviews of little things that I pick up. Often it's Nintendo toys, um, such as the Game & Watch and Lego Mario, but today I'm bringing them the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Boardwalk Arcade Pinball Machine. If you know me at all, I love pinball. I'm addicted to it. I love to go to pinball arcades when you're able to go to pinball arcades um, but i'm also addicted to pinball-esque things that can fit inside of small rooms like i'm in right now so i really love my flip grip for my nintendo switch with zen pinball fx3 i also have a pinball 3d printed cabinet coming um, which can sit on the desktop for the nintendo switch so i will do a review of that as well and I would love an arcade one up, but they're just too big. There's not enough room. I have a plant here, just not gonna fit. So when I saw this on Amazon for $15, I knew I had to get it and it is awesome. I know that this has been out for a little bit. I have never seen it in the stores. So when I saw it on um, Amazon, I said I had to get this. You know, walking around Kohl's or a Bed Bath & Beyond or even a Target, you might see like these little miniature things, this world's smallest, cube in the world rubik cube or something like that i've never seen this so i needed to get it i needed to break it down so let's go ahead and bust this thing open all right the first thing you're going to notice is that this thing is small i have my mouse right next to it so you can see it in comparison here the box is of this kind of thin plastic uh, it's nothing to talk home to there is a try me so if you were inside of a store you could go ahead and do the try me button but let's bust this open the plastic is relatively easy to take off it's not nicest thing in the world but it's not the worst thing in the world either um, it's a little bit tricky there is some little tiny pieces of uh, tape on there but i like to just open up this top area and boom it will slide right out so if you're a fan of keeping the package this actually works fairly well but here it is look at that thing it is tiny and awesome and i love it and of course there is some paperwork in here so there is the documentation on how to use the boardwalk arcade tmnt pinball table and then a brochure of other things that they make. You've seen these things probably in the stores, little tiny things of stuff. But yeah, it comes with batteries installed, which is really awesome. And you can just turn it on, which I think is also fantastic from day one. The um, stickers on here are just stickers. They're not printed on. I'm assuming they did that to save money. But all in all, the plastic is nice. It has nice feet. There's an on and off toggle. There's little buttons on the back. We use those as flippers or side flipper buttons. Yeah, the stickers are stickers. They're nothing to really talk home about, but they are nice. They have all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on there. I, I like I like it. You know, it would have been nicer if they were painted on, but you know, for $15, $20, I'm not gonna complain necessarily. Now, the buttons on the back over here will turn it on, and there's a big speaker on the back of it as well. And there are two screens, that's right. There's a screen on the bottom and a screen on the top that has different displays. So very much like a pinball game, to be honest with you. You see your score on top, and like you just saw, after 20 seconds of inactivity, it will go ahead and turn itself off. They do say in the book, though, that you wanna actually turn it off, and that would be the recommendation I would have too. So, all right, let's zoom in here really quick so you can get a better idea of how to play this thing. And let's start the first ball, and let's just play for 20, 30 seconds. All right, so there's my first ball. Actually, I have a pretty decent first ball here. And, you know, the game itself, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's relatively crisp, the little tiny LCD. Look at this little animation up top. You're trying to, you know, do different things with the, the turtles, um, light up their names. There's Leonardo uh, over there. And, you know, it's pinball. It's, it's a fairly small table of pinball, if I would to say so myself. I thought it was going to be multiple layers, but it seems like it's only one. 
there's skill shots, there's additional points. It looks like there's also, you know, these cool animations that are going on. I mean, for under 20 bucks, I'm actually really, really impressed by this thing. And I'm selling my first ball, I think, over here. So there are a bunch of different, you know, things that you're trying to do in this pinball game, like other pinball games, as you would expect. Now, I will say, though, that there's only a left and a right out, and, you know, it doesn't seem too hard up. There's the first ball gone. Um, the ball moves kind of slow. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, I've been using the left and right little bumpers there, but you can also reach around um, with your fingers, your index fingers on the back and use it. I actually don't like it as much, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, here's a close up of that LCD display. Um, it's really nice uh, overall, I would say. Plastic, it feels good in your hand. Let's go ahead and play a little bit more over here as you can hit the plunger on the, the front to launch the ball and you have to hold it down to launch the ball farther if you just only click on it it only launch a little bit so that was an unfortunate ball there but uh, yeah i mean it is pinball i'm not gonna lie this might be a little hard to see like i said earlier but there are some cool animations happening the volume of it is a bit loud for me in my personal opinion and here i can try to use the bumpers on the back it's just not as enjoyable i like the using the, the front bumpers personally but yeah, it is tiny little pinball in your hands and it's color, it's animated. The ball moves a little bit slow. It's not necessarily a super high frame rate. That would be my one detriment to it. But the the bumpers and the, um, you know, hitting the bumpers left and right on there work good. I mean, overall, it's reactive. There's a little bit of strategy to the game, it looks like. There's some mini little games inside of it and it's pinball. I'm not going to lie. It is pinball at the end of the day and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm really excited to have it sitting next to me every single day. So I can take a quick five minute break and bust out some sweet, sweet TMNT pinball. All right. I mean, there you have it. That is the teenage mutant Ninja turtles boardwalk, tiny pinball machine. I mean, I got to say that uh, overall, the experience of having this right at my fingertips, instantly booting on and playing some pinball is kind of magical. I don't know. I mean, I do like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm a uh, Donatello fan myself. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, is this going to be the most realistic pinball in the entire world? No, uh, it's a little slow, but I'm very, very impressed by the dual LCD displays that are on here. They're relatively crisp, and I can see myself just sitting here playing it. Uh, I need to figure out if I can turn down the volume as it is a little loud. But besides that, uh, I cannot recommend this enough for $15 on Amazon. Uh, at least that's what the price was when I paid it. So if you click a link down in the show notes, that will take you directly to Amazon. That's, of course, an affiliate link that helps support the channel as well. But I hope that you enjoyed this tech tip. If there's any other pinball things or Nintendo things you want me to check out, please let me know in the show notes below. Leave a comment in there. But I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you do pick up one of these, let me know what you think. Uh, and I can't wait to hopefully they make more of these things. Just have a whole lineup back here. Forget Arcade 1-Up. I'm talking Boardwalk, Pinball, I'm in. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. Have a good one.